What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate, and we're looking at the Microsoft 365 Connector, previously known as the Office 365 Outlook Connector. So the Microsoft 365 Outlook Connector is newly rebranded, and the same actions, the same triggers apply, it's just a slightly different name. So the action that we're going to look at today is the create event v4 action so this action allows you to create a calendar entry for you so let's take a look at it i'm in power automate here i have a manual trigger flow because we don't need anything coming from dynamic content for this and we can click on new step and then we can go to this microsoft 365 outlook connector here uh, then the second one down is create event v4 so choose that one. Now I'm, select, I'm presented with a bunch of required parameters. So the required parameters are the calendar ID, the subject, start time, end time, and the time zone. So the calendar ID is the calendar where you want this entry to go into. So this is the, um, the, the calendar that you have set up. Maybe you have multiple calendars. So maybe one for events, one for work, one for personal, that sort of thing. Um, in here, you can specify which calendar you want to use. Uh, in this instance, I'm just going to use the default calendar. Uh, calendar. Um, so I'll select that one. Then for the subject, this is the name of the calendar event that you want to put in. So I'm going to say um, uh, meeting to discuss uh, ice cream because I'm hungry. Uh, so we've got a meeting to discuss ice cream. Then we have the start time and the end time. So we can put these in. It does have a, an example here. So this is the UTC um, ISO 8601 format, I think, um, that, uh, that this is in. So it's saying we need it in this style format. This is an example. Um, so what I will do is I'm just trying to insert a expression. I'm just going to say this is going to start now, UTC now. And the end time, I'm going to insert another expression. Uh, and I use add hours, add hours, open bracket, and then the time string. So we're going to say UTC now again. So we're going to add one hour to the UTC. Uh, I don't need to worry about format. I just want it in the, in the uh, default format and then do that. So we've got the start time is starting now or when the flow triggers, and the end time is now plus an hour. So nice and easy, but you can pull this in from dynamic content or um, anywhere else that you want. We can also specify a time zone, so we can search through all the different time zones that we've got, so we can say, right, okay, that's the time, but what time zone is this in? So this is going to be more applicable to where you are in the world and how you are using this. Um, for instance, in the UK, uh, we, are currently, um, we are currently on BST, which is, uh, I think, UTC plus one. Uh, and not UTC, which is always always fun, but we'll find out how we do this. Um, so yeah, uh, we're we're currently in British summertime, which which brings us forward an hour from UTC, which is very annoying. Um, so yeah, so that's that's the required parameters. We do have a bunch of optional parameters as well. So we do have things like required attendees. So these are the people that you may be inviting to your event. Um, as I said, you can, or as it says here, you can uh, separate them by semicolons. Um, you can also type them in and it'll look up from your database as well to see um, who, you want to, um, who you want to invite. Um, we do have a button here that switches it to advanced mode and so switches it to that email address in here uh, rather than just this nicer format here. Uh, again, we have optional attendees and resource attendees. We have the body of the message, and this is like the full kind of message that you would you would get in the in the calendar event. So, this is a meeting uh, meeting to discuss ice cream. Um, you can do that, and then you could maybe put some bullet points in here. You can say, right, I'm kind of left bullet pointed. Not what I want to put bullet point, but this is uh, what we want. So, uh, why is strawberry better than chocolate? Uh, chocolate, uh, question mark, can I bullet point that now, just highlight it, bullet point it, okay, it's just bullet point and everything, never mind, um, but yeah, there's a, there's all sorts of things you can do in the name, bullet point things, you can add things to lists, do all sorts of cool things, um, you know, why is, why is strawberry, why is strawberry better than chocolate, does anyone know? Um, Vanilla, uh, vanilla, 
uh, Y all the height. And you can do stuff like this and we can, you know, bold these things uh, using this, this text editor in here. Uh, we can add links to things, we can format it in different ways. Uh, what's this one? This is text dweller? Text dweller. So we can highlight things, so we can change this dweller to be, um, you know, kind of chocolatey. I don't really see a chocolate in here, so we'll go with this one, sort of that colour. And then in here, we're going to choose a strawberry colour, choose that one. Um, and we can also switch this to HTML, so we can actually um, program this in to HTML, so I can actually get rid of this. I don't want, I don't want that in there. And on that, I'm just trying to move this under here. So basically, when it doesn't cooperate in the editor, I just switch to HTML and I'm fine. Um, so yeah, so that's that's you know this switches to this editor, so it allows you gives you greater control and look. It's now fixed it all. It's great. Uh, when in doubt, HTML. So we can do these things. Um, we can add locations. We can set the importance high, medium, or low. Uh, we have is this an all day event? So we can choose yes or no, and that will make this an all day event. We have recurrences, so um, so does this recur? Does this recur? Uh, does it recur daily, weekly, monthly, yearly? Uh, the number of recurrences, so the the end date of that recurrence, um, uh, the the number of recurrences between those dates, or you know, so we can either specify an end date or we can say how many times this is going to occur. We have a reminder, so you can set a reminder, say remind me, you know, a few minutes before, uh, you know, how many minutes before the meeting. That there's a thing. Um, my default is 15, but you can set it to five, which is actually usually more, more accurate. Um, and yeah, so we have all of these different uh, different things. So we'll test this out. So we'll click on test. I'll follow the trigger action, save and test. Run the flow, click done, and it runs successfully. Yay! So it's nice to see the green, minty green. I want some mint ice cream now. So we're over to my calendar and we can see that we have a meeting to discuss ice cream. Uh, it is uh, it is starting in one minute. So I was right about the whole UCC thing. Um, so, uh, so yeah, so it's going to run from uh, 12.34 to, to 13.34, uh, which is one minute according to my settings. Um, this is meeting to discuss ice cream. Why is strawberry better than chocolate? Why van vanilla? Why the hate? Um, so we can we can you know we can open these things out and we can see these things and we can you know do all sorts of other stuff. So show as you know I'm going to do this. I'm busy, etc. Um, I can delete it. I can do all these other stuff. So uh, really cool function uh, and it's really easy to use. So I just created a, an event uh, with some content that I pasted in there. But as always, we can also do other things as well, uh, like pulling things from. Um, other lists so you could have a planner um, that does this or you could say right okay if I start a new project then when I you know when a record's created in my CDS environment then um, I could create a, a calendar event every Monday to review that project you know so when this happens create this with this project reference maybe with this ID to go review that project every Monday make sure the project's on track so there's loads of different ways that you can use this, but as always, I want to know what you guys use this for at home. So let me know in the comments down below, or feel free to connect with me on Twitter or LinkedIn. Send me some suggestions of uh, you know, what you're using this for, maybe we'll make some demos out of it. Um, if you did like this video and you found it useful, if you could hit like and, and uh, share it with your friends, that'd be great. If you've not already, hit that subscribe button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time.